Welcome in. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire PM skincare routine, step by step. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. If you're not familiar with my story, I'll give you the cliff notes here really quickly. I am 64 years old and neglected my skin all my life. A little less than a year and a half ago, I launched on a Save My Skin journey to see if I could do something to impact my very old looking aging skin. So that's what brings us to today. I did do my entire AM skincare routine and if you didn't see that, I'll go ahead and link it up here and list it down below in the description box. As always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below and they'll also be over on the blog so super easy for you to find. My current PM skincare routine is really perfect for my particular skin. I have normal skin and of course my main issue is anti-aging. One thing I can share with you is putting together your own skincare routine is probably going to look different than mine because your needs might be different than my needs. So make sure that you put together a skincare routine that's perfect for your skin. If you're confused about the whole topic of skincare, and I don't blame you, it can be very overwhelming and very confusing when you first start. Don't worry, it's actually very, very easy. And I have broken down how to put together an extremely affordable, extremely effective beginning skincare routine. And I have an entire playlist over on my channel and I'll link it up here and down below. There are so many products out in the marketplace that it can be completely completely overwhelming to begin, but it doesn't have to feel that way. It really is very easy to put together a great skincare routine at a fabulous price when you know how. So make sure you check those videos out. I think they'll answer a lot of your questions. So let's launch into my PM skincare routine. The first thing I want to say is that I alternate the products that I use in my PM skincare routine. One night I'll use my tretinoin, which I get through Curology. The next night I'll use copper peptides. It's really better not to use those two together, and I'm so crazy about both of them that I just flip back and forth, and I'll be showing you both those routines in this video. As you can see, I have an entire face of makeup on that needs to come off. And when I'm wearing makeup, I do a double cleanse. If you're not familiar with the double cleanse, let me explain it really quickly for you. The first part of the double cleanse is an oil cleanser or a makeup removing cleanser product. I like to use oils. Right now I'm using the From Green Cleansing Oil. This is a K-Beauty product and I'm really trying and testing it out so I can report back to you guys. If you have never used a cleansing oil before and you'd like to get started, I can tell you that one of my all-time favorites is an extremely affordable drugstore option called Palmer's Cleansing Oil and you can find it right off of Amazon and I'll have that linked down below. In my mind there's really no reason to go out and spend a lot of money on a cleansing balm or cleansing oil when you can get one at a great affordable drugstore price that works really really well. For the second step of my cleanse, that is once I've taken my makeup off with the cleansing oil, then I'll go in with a very gentle cleanser. And right now I'm using two products one stays on my counter and one stays in my shower and I love them both. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser and this is perfect for more mature skin, particularly if you have dryness. This is very gentle, it's not stripping and it does a wonderful job of cleaning your face very, very well. I recently added this Neutrogena Skin Balancing Cleanser to my routine. I love this as well, super gentle. This one has a wonderfully delightful kind of pepperminty scent, which I enjoy. So either one of these are a good choice, or like me, you can get one for the shower and one for the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my face now, and I'll be right back for night one of my PM skincare routine. My face is all washed and cleaned and just very barely patted dry. I like to make sure that my skin has some hydration on it from either water or a mist before I go in with my serums and other formulas because I want them to be able to sink into the skin really easily. The first thing I start with is my Super Oxide Dismute Saccharide Mist. This is from Neot. This is a very, very hydrating mist. 
and I like to start both my morning and my evening skincare routine by misting my face with this. Do you need it? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is a more expensive product. It is more for the skincare aficionados, which I'm kind of turning into. This is a very hydrating mist with a lot of excellent ingredients. I just kind of gotten hooked on using it. The next step in this evening's routine is my niacinamide 10% zinc 1% from the ordinary. This comes in two sizes. I've just started getting the larger one because I reorder it all the time. Even with this larger size, this is extremely affordable. And what niacinamide does is that it makes any skin type act better. My daughter, who is 30 years old and has oily skin and a little bit of acne issues, can use this and get great results. And I, at 64 years old and dry skin, can use it and get great results as well. So niacinamide in my mind is one of the best things that we can add into our skincare routine. I just take about a quarter of a dropper full into the palm of my hand, rub that together and pat that all over my face. Down my neck. And then anything that goes on my face goes onto the backs of my hands. Tonight is my tretinoin night and I get my tretinoin through Curology. Curology is available in most states throughout the U.S. and I absolutely love this as an option for my tretinoin. I simply put one pump on the back of my hand and then just dot that over my face and rub it in. The next step is the Maylove Moonlight Retinol Super Serum, and this is going to go on my neck. This is a retinoid product that is not as irritating as tretinoin, and I'm really testing it on my neck to see how it does in that skin area. The next step for me is the hydration vaccine from Neod. This is not a moisturizer, it's almost a pre-moisturizer, and it just adds an extra level of hydration to my skin. I put about this much on my fingers and then that just gets spread all around my face and down my neck. For a moisturizer on my face, I'm gonna be using the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. CeraVe has so many wonderful moisturizers and you really can't go wrong with any of them. I really enjoy this one for my evening routine. Take about this much on my fingers and that goes all around my face and then down my neck. And then the final step for me is the City Beauty Invisicrate Body Balm. <laughs> I've been using this for a few months now and it really has made a difference in the crepiness of my neck. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but it just did. If you wanna find out more about that, I did an entire video on it. I'll go ahead and link it up here. There's night one of my PM skincare routine, and now let's jump into night two. Day two of my evening skincare routine is all about copper peptides. When I first heard about copper peptides, I wasn't that enthusiastic about using them because I knew I couldn't use my tretinoin with the copper peptides that I would have to alternate. And I wasn't really convinced that the copper peptides were worth giving up my tretinoin for half the nights of the month. Long story short is I did end up testing copper peptides and was completely shocked and surprised at what a difference it made in my skin. The firmness and bounciness of my skin after using copper peptides really, really surprised me. That led me to make the decision to alternate nights between my tretinoin and copper peptides. The copper peptide that I used in that test was from Neod and it's their copper amino isolate. Here's the deal with copper peptides. There aren't very many companies that do a good job of putting together a copper peptide serum and they sell out quite frequently. I ended up using all this up and it was sold out. So I looked around at a few options and decided to try another brand to test it in comparison to this. That is Dr. Roebuck's Ningaloo Firming Serum and that's what I'm using now and I'm really testing it against the Neod formula. On the nights that I use the copper peptides, I start again with the superoxide dismutase mist. Spray a little bit of that over my face. And then I put a few pumps, about three, in the palm of my hand of the Ningaloo Serum. What I used to do was pat it all over my face. Now, because I realize how potent copper peptides are 
for firming the skin, I dab it underneath my eyes first because that's the area that I have the most issue needing firmness. Then I just take what's left on my hands, pat it all over my face, down my neck, and then onto the backs of my hands. That's the only serum that I use in my alternate night evening routine. Then again, I use the Neon Hydration Vaccine and just smooth that all over my face and onto the backs of my hands. Then top it off with the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. And then I finish up with the Invisicrate Body Balm from City Beauty on my neck. I want to thank you for joining me and finding out what I'm currently using in my PM skincare routine. If you want to find out more or if you have more questions, make sure you check out the beginning skincare playlist down in the description box. That should go a long way to getting you started on your own effective, affordable PM skincare routine. If you missed the AM skincare routine, make sure you check that out as well, and that will also be listed below. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.